Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris Stallings, you know me here on YouTube as Marauder EX, and this is Operation Recap, covering a bunch of stories that shape the world of gaming this week. Uh, before I get into that, um, and before I put on my, my usual hat and get into my usual persona, um, I'm going to talk about something serious for a second. Uh, we don't usually do this here at Rainfall, but it, it feels warranted. Uh, I want to speak on behalf of myself and those of us at Rainfall, uh, giving our sincerest thoughts, wishes, and hopes for the people affected by the recent bombings in uh, Boston and the, uh, the tragic explosion in Texas. Um, there will be links to donation sites uh, in the video description if you can reach out. If not, um, uh, give your, your best thoughts and wishes to all those affected by these, these horrible tragedies. Um, with that said, Let's talk about gaming. Let's get some news. Uh, this week has been a massive week in terms of gaming news. Uh, so much so that I'm wondering if Nintendo actually has anything left for E3. Uh, this is going to be a very Nintendo-centric uh, video. Uh, because they've, they've really pulled out all the stops this week. First up, the biggest story. Pandora's Tower has released. It is available. I have my copy here and I'm so happy. I have all three! Got them all. Um, if you don't have Pandora's Tower yet, go pick it up. If you've got a Wii or a Wii U, it's well worth it. First 20 minutes just were amazing, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of the game has in store for me. Um, localized by Exceed Games, really uh, go check them out. Uh, they did uh, Last Story as well. G give them as much support as you can, because they are bringing over some really, really quality titles. Uh, next up, with more actual news, uh, Wii U uh, has its virtual console. Uh, they finally established the virtual console announcement. Nintendo Direct this week uh, sent out a ton of information. Uh, they're starting off with a huge list of titles for the Wii U. Uh, Balloon Fight, Donkey Kong Jr., Super Mario Bros. 2, F-Zero, Mario Bros. Arcade, uh, Kirby's Adventure, Ice Climbers, uh, Super Mario World, Punch-Out, Kirby's Dream Course, uh, Yoshi, Mega Man, uh, Kirby's Dream Land 3, Wrecking Crew, Excite Bite, Kirby Superstar, Yoshi's Cookie, Super Metroid, and several others. Uh, the flagship title that they are also bringing out that's going to be on the Virtual Console is Earthbound. The game that no one thought was actually going to come out, they announced will be coming out on Virtual Console. Earthbound will be released that's a huge deal. Uh, I never thought it would happen. I really didn't. Uh, it was always one of those games that always seemed like a pipe dream. Of it just it seems like it's it's just too far out of reach to warrant it ever being a possibility. And then Nintendo just like, hey, we're doing it. Give us your money, um, which is a great stance that Nintendo is taking because I will give them all of my money. Uh, for games like this. Um, I've always wanted a copy of Earthbound, but it always comes in such a ridiculous price for buying the, the cartridge because it's not a very rare game, but it is a game that once you have, you really don't want to let go. So, that's, that's big news for uh, Wii and Wii U owners that you can finally have a copy of Earthbound. Uh, big news there. Uh, another title that they've announced is a link to the past too? What? Uh, they announced that Oracles of Ages and Oracles of Seasons are going to be coming out on uh, uh, the eShop as well. Uh, but then they're like, oh yeah, by the way, we're doing another Legend of Zelda. This one's set in a link to the past world. It's for the 3DS. It uses various 3D mechanics that are going to be ridiculous. The art style looks amazing. The puzzles involve multi layers taking advantage of the 3D effect. And you've got a special power where Link can become 2D and attach to walls and walk around walls. Super Paper Link? What the hell, man? This is going to be awesome. I'm super excited about this one. Uh, I can't really do the 3D effect. My my eyes and glasses don't really uh, permit that, but uh, my wife has a 3DS, and I guarantee you I'm going to be stealing it just to try to play this game. It, it seems worth it. It really does. Uh, last up on the news today, Bravely Default. Flying Fairy. Uh, that is a long name. It's a fantastic game. It was featured in our uh, campaign hub for uh, uh, various other uh, fan operations 
to bring attention to games. We've been covering this one as much as we can. It has been announced that it will be reaching the U.S. sometime this year. Nintendo, leave some stuff for E3! Or better yet, don't. Pull out all the stops for E3 and just make me die of a heart attack. Because that's what I'm really expecting to happen this E3. If this is what Nintendo is just showing off as a Nintendo Direct, as a, hey, we're just throwing stuff out there, I'm really excited for what they're going to throw out at E3. Uh, as long as they're not burning out way too soon, E3 is going to be amazing between Nintendo throwing out a bunch of games that's just going to make me throw money at my, uh, my computer screen, Sony and Microsoft announcing new consoles. This is going to be a killer E3 year. I'm so looking forward to it. Um, so that's all the stories that I'm going to talk about today. Uh, it's been a long week. Lots of stuff. Um, check out all of the, the links to uh, the articles and stories down below. Uh, and stay tuned to Operation Rainfall for all of your gaming news, reviews, and previews. And I will catch you guys later. Till then, later everyone.